Hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of Vidge Game Hunting. Today I want to start things off with a question. Uh, when you're out game hunting, uh, what's that ideal number that you're looking to pick up games for? You know, that price that you always wish you could find games at. For me it's a buck. I mean, in my opinion any game is worth picking up for a dollar, even if you're unsure of it. But what if one day you were out game hunting and you came across a sale where you could get games not for a dollar, not even 50 cents, but just a quarter. I mean, could you imagine? That would be insane, right? I mean, at that price, you'd probably pick up everything in sight. I did. Let's talk about that. So yes, gamers, that's correct. Everything you saw on that couch, 240 games I bought for just 25 cents a piece, which means I spent $60 on 240 games at this sale. Now, what the deal was, was it was uh, Pawn America, my favorite pawn shop, had a 25th anniversary celebration, and um, they were selling off games, Red Dot Games. They put a sticker on all of these, a red little dot. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but those were all 25 cents. Now, <clears throat> I happened to walk in the day they were starting the sale, and I grabbed a bunch of games. Um, they made me put a bunch back. Apparently it was limit 10 per person, but they hadn't thought about this guy. It didn't stop me. I just went back three times a day. Um, got around that pretty easy. But anyway, um, I just kind of assumed it was just going to be a limited number of games. You know, I'd go there, and get a bunch of good ones, and they, that'd be it. They'd be gone. But no, they replenished this thing. They kept putting out new games, and I was hitting the store three times a day. Uh, for about 10 days until this thing finally dried up, and I believe the sale is over now. Um, they weren't putting on any new games the last few days, but unbelievable, insane deal. And you would think at that price they'd be putting on mostly just sports titles and crap, and believe me, there was some of that, but I have unbelievable amounts of quality games in here. Um, and one game alone that I picked up will pay for this entire lot, not to mention everything else I got. And it was all... all Age of Systems, everything back to Atari up to um, Xbox 360 and PS3. So, without hesitating any longer, let's jump right in. we got a lot of games to get through. This is probably going to have to be at least two, maybe three parts, but I'm going to start off with the GameCube games because I think this will give you a good indication as the as to the, the amazing deal I got here. Obviously, 25 cents for any game is great, but when you see some of the games I picked up, it's going to blow your mind. All right, let's do this. Wave Race, Blue Storm. Wave Race, Blue Storm. Luigi's Mansion. Warrior World. Medal of Honor Frontline. Uh, this is the Fairly Odd Parents, but actually, this one, I don't know how I remember this from all the games I picked up. Inside is actually Monkey Ball Adventure. But, quarter, who cares? Um, I don't know why I bought this one. UFC Throwdown. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Ice Age 2, The Meltdown. KO the Kangaroo, Round 2. Top Gun Combat Zones. Monkey Ball 2, love that game. SSX on Tour, which it looks like you can actually play as Princess Mario and Luigi in this version. Very cool. Great compilation here, Sonic Gems Collection. Star Wars Rebel Strike. So it's Rogue Squadron 3, I guess. I probably said that name out of order. Um, Harry Potter, Quidditch World Cup. You guys are going to be mad about this one. This is insane. Digimon World 4. 25 cents. Wallace and Gromit. Mario Kart Double Dash. And F-Zero GX. And that's just the GameCube games, people. That right there is worth way, way more than the 60 bucks I paid for all of this. Sorry, I'm really excited if it doesn't show. All right, so now let's jump into, I don't know, Wii games next. Why not? Wii Play. Let's tap. The price is right. Damn right it is. 25 cents. Wing Island. This is disc only. Generic case. Uh, Nicktoons Attack of the Toy Bots, Carnival Games, Winter Sports, 
Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2010, Thrillville, Epic Mickey, Talk, and the Guardians of Gross. I heard this is a good game, um, kind of a hidden gem. Guilty Pleasure, Big Game Hunter 2012, and Domino Rally. Alright, I picked up one Atari 5200 game, just because it's a classic game. I don't have a 5200, but for a quarter, I got Dig Dug. The only Genesis game I found at this sale, and it's a great one. A complete copy of Shadow Run. Let's jump into PlayStation 1. We got a copy of Driver. Crash Bandicoot 2. Bowling. 007, Tomorrow Never Dies. Cleopatra's Fortune, pretty sure that's a budget title. Yet another copy of Driver, this one's a black label. Um, American Pool. Star Trek Invasion. Love the Ridge Racer games, Ridge Racer Revolution. This is an interesting looking one, looks like an early release. Um, fade to Black. Oop. Got some cases stuck together here. Um, racing game, Scars. And one I'd never heard of before, Wrecking Crew. Um, why not 360 games now? What the hell? Um, Call of Duty 2. Dirt 2, which looks like it's covered in dirt. That's a bonus. Disc only Batman Arkham Asylum. Disc only Just Cause 2. The Sims 3 Pets. Disc only, well, disc and manual, I believe. Yep, wet. This is disc only, eat lead, the return of Matt Hazard. Uh, again, disc only, Quake 4. And a complete copy of Forza 3. So, next system. PSP. Sega Genesis um, Collection. One UMD movie, Step Brothers, what the hell, why not? SOCOM, Fireteam Bravo 2. This is a dual pack, two games, they still sold it for a quarter. Siphon Filter, Dark Mirror, and um, SOCOM, US Navy SEALs. Um, Fireteam Bravo, and that's US Navy SEALs, Fireteam Bravo, I picked up another copy of that on its own. Reflex, MXATV. Siphon Filter, Logan Shadow. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories. This, well... I don't know, are these discs? UMD only, I guess? Scarface, the game, and then Resistance Retribution. Ghost Recon 2. Call of Duty Roads to Victory. Army of Two, um, 40th Day. Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto. Um, God of War, Chains of Olympus. God of War, Ghosts of Sparta. One of my all-time favorite PSP games. I played the hell out of this one back when I had a PSP. Burnout Dominator. Great handheld racing game. And then last up for the PSP, Dante's Inferno. So, PS3. Superbike World Championship. Blazing Angels. Godfather 2, Disc Emanuel. Guitar Hero, Aerosmith. And... Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2012. And we'll cut it there um, for this part of the video, and we'll get into the Xbox and PlayStation 2 games next. And um, hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of this incredible haul. Thanks for watching.